Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farden Plays Mountain Blade Warband. Now, before we start playing, one thing I'd like to um, tell you guys is that since I have basically lost my colony in RimWorld, I've decided to take a small break before the beginning of Season 2. Now, that break means that I have some space to fill, basically a game that I'm gonna have to play every day alongside with others. As I was doing Room World, and I thought, you know what, Warband is an extremely huge world, an extremely huge game, it deserves to have uh, some more attention. So for the foreseeable future, I will be playing, well, uh, putting a Warband video every day on the channel, and at some point, maybe I will restart playing Room World, or maybe I will change for something else. So I hope you guys enjoy this series, as it will continue for a while. As far as the game goes, we are in a weird spot. We have a terrible army. Everybody's currently uh, hurt and has to wait for their help to come back. Except for us and uh, one of our freeholders and one of our, I think it's Don Chad, can fight. But that would be a bad idea since he's only at 33% health. Uh, we are followed by veteran renegades that would destroy us if they caught us with, caught up with us. In Tonsberg, we can hire more um, sailors. However, they would take all of the cash we have on hand. We have 3,400, and I think they ask for 3,200 or something like that. And that is a problem because uh, last week we did not manage to pay our troops. Um, where is the... It is, I found the wrong button. Sometimes the interface is a bit clunky. Notes. Game log. Characters. Okay, no, that's not it. Inventory. No. Character. Yeah, okay. Uh, budget. There you go. We have a debt. Yeah, we have accrued debts, and we have uh, wages to pay. So, this uh, we we need at least six hundred gold, and I do not know when we have to pay it. So we have to have at least six hundred gold at all times on hand, and we can ask we cannot ask the sailors um, for only seven of them to join us instead of the twelve they want to give us. So. We are in a weird spot because we could have a bigger army, but we don't. And we won't either. On the other hand, our character is now at 127 renown, which is only 23 missing from the 150 that we need to start recruiting in villages for free. So we will also uh, probably fight for that right eventually. Okay, so this guy, he wants, wants us to pay for it. Okay, and we pay again, so we've paid 800 Dominguez in exchange. He has nobody to give us. Oh, Jesus Christ. That asshole. He just took 800 gold out of us and didn't give us anything. Uh, we're gonna ask for a dog, but there are none. I think dogs are new uh, update for this. Um, for the Vikings DLC. However, I've never played with dogs before, so I do not know what they do. Uh, do they have supplies? They do not. So we are a bit stranded. Oh, oh, there's one that can join us. Perfect. So, well, we've got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, but these guys do not care that we're not ready to fight. <laughs> Although they will fear this party, so we might as well just go and talk to them. See if they have... Oh, we already are doing quests. By the way, this quest, the Destroy Bandit Lair, that we cannot do right now because we don't have enough people. We still have a month to take care of it, so I'm not too scared. It is going to be done. We're not going to avoid that. So right now, we are going to wait at least a day in Tunsburg for our troops to get healed. So, uh, on March 8th at noon, we will start. One of our wounds is cured. That's great. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, so as long as we're in Tonsberg, enemies, although they come close. Oh, shit. Uh, if they come close, they cannot attack us anyway when we're in Tonsberg. How's our army doing? Still two sailors missing. Our champions are slowly getting back there. So we are in a good shape enough to start um, walking again. Trader. Ooh, maybe these, they're gonna ask for a caravan to uh, follow them. Tell me about the journey. Ah, damn it. Because we could uh, hassle them, try to take some money out of them, but that would make everybody pissed, and we cannot afford this right now with this little amount of people. Although we do have seven prisoners. Oh yeah, I wanted to hire the spearman and the sailor. That's gonna lower morale, but it's gonna be good for our uh, troops. Uh, okay, so nobody except to join us. So instead, oh, the days get longer and the bony grip of winter loosens. Oh, winter is not coming anymore. Perfect. Uh, so I do want to find a uh, ransom broker. There you go, it is awesome. And he's gonna give us a little bit of money. He will give us... Oh, uh, Jesus, I wish they wouldn't all give us the same talk. So all the prisoners for 506 Peningas, perfect. Uh, so we are back at almost 3,000, I think. Yeah, a little bit over 3,000. Not, still not enough to hire the 12 sailors, but close close enough, I guess. Tons by West, they want to uh, to recruit volunteers, they want to um, negotiate. Yeah! And we give them the 500 gold, and now he's okay with us. And nobody wants to join us. God damn it. Uh, the farmstead, they hate us, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I do miss my horse. Now, that's for damn sure. My horse was amazing. Uh, he made some sweet lemonade. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, though, uh, walking is a, is a bit of a pain when you can uh, um, ride a horse instead. I did not know they died. In the previous version, before the DLC, when your horse died in battle, it was like uh, broken equipment. It would come back in your inventory at full health once the battle is done. However, now, when our horse died, it actually did die. Okay, so the Farmstead Reeve, you are not going to... Okay, so we tried to uh, be mean to them, I think, and they didn't appreciate it. Which I understand, but I'm kind of bummed about. So, is there anything to do here? Who's that? Oh, it's a villager. And a Christian bishop. No, thank you. But pagans are majority here. What? What is a pagan uh, Christian bishop doing there? I'm not a Christian, you crow. I spit on you for Christians are like weak sheep. I worship the ancient gods and I love war, blood, and chaos. Jesus Christ. Uh... Let's not antagonize him just yet. We'll do that eventually, don't worry about it. We will fight um, Christianity, we will fight... Well, basically we'll fight everything. If, if it can be fought, it will be fought. Uh, did they have a job? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Delivering ale, I've done that. Go fuck yourself. Uh, if you remember correctly, it cost us about, I think around like 1200 gold to get to wherever they wanted us to deliver the ale, and they gave us like 200 gold. So that was extremely not worth it. Uh, let's hope that Skirng and Dimval, they do not have um, people for us to uh, recruit. Do they have jobs? They do not. Uh, no, they do not. Okay. So we'll keep moving. Maybe talk to this Jarl. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, it's a war party. 
Uh, we would be there if we had been conscripted. Okay, uh, Lawless been known as Ale of Care Riddler. He murdered one of my men, had been on a run. Oh shit! This is a bounty hunt. Bounty hunt. Sure, I will go hunt him down and execute the law. Perfect. This is gonna be an easy one. It's gonna be a 1v1 fight, and we're pretty good at those. Uh, would join your. They would join our enemy in battle? Do, do I have enemies? Uh, we're close. We're so close. Where are the enemies? They would... Oh, maybe if I attacked Kittiel? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try something a little stupid. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, Guthorn Hallard's son would join your enemy in a battle. Oh, okay, so they would join... If I decided to attack this guy, they would join him. Okay, okay, I will not uh, I will not attack them. That's perfect. Uh, I didn't want to do that anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, they want us to go away and give a letter, but uh, I am not interested in doing that. Still being nice, we do want to antagonize people, but eventually not yet. We're not strong enough to afford that. Uh, also, I'm going to the Lord's Hall before going to the village, because uh, it means we spawn up here instead of up near the boats. Uh, do you have to do you have to have a job for me? No. What do you do? Who rules this castle? And that's all I need to know. Perfect. So nothing good. Nothing good. We do have. Wait. We do have a fight. Uh, he is in Rogalanby. That is very close. No. I thought that was it. Rogalanby. Oh, it's all the way over there. All right. Well, uh, let's go and say hi. Oh, careful. Master them. Man, fifteen of them. There are fifteen of us. Ah, uh, I am. Not sure. Not wanting to try it. The odds are not good enough for us. Uh, they all want letters to be delivered, but if you if they give us good money for it, we would do it. But it's just it's just not worth it. Uh, lumber camp. I never remember if they give us if they sell us some cheap wood or if they don't. Uh, buying resources from these area is usually super cheap uh, yeah we can sell those for about 200 and something so uh, it's a profit it's not a big profit but some profit and we leave. we could also work there but it's basically they give us three coins a day or something like that it's ridiculous it would be worth it if you, if we were in a very big trouble, but it's unnecessary for now. Oh wait, do they want to buy our? Wood? They do not. Well, they do want to buy it, but not with the prices we're asking for. Oz is half. Uh, do they have quests for us? I never remember that, because I know this is a pagan's church. We could recruit a berserker. Uh, we need 500, uh, more than 150 renown for that. Uh, we could pillage it, it's a bad idea. We could donate to it, that is also a bad idea, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see if there's anybody that can uh, give us a job. Oh. Uh, you can recite old verses, compose songs, or make sacrifices to please the gods. If you're lucky, the gods may hear you, and something, something. Gati, we've we know about these. Berserker. It's written weirdly. Uh, get yourself a priest. Okay, no thank you. Refugee. A lot of gotties. Jesus Christ, a lot of them. You'll find them. You've got a name. Uh, nope. He has a name, but he's a bit of a bitch about it. So, fuck off. Let's talk to the priests. My men need Odin. I will donate 500 penigas for your aid in this matter. 
Uh, no, we need the money. Really need the money. Okay, so basically this is just... Uh, oh, is there anything I can do to help this Huff? No. Okay, so let's leave. I like how he called us uh, his son. Just like uh, <laughs> Christian's uh, rights. We have to call uh, priests uh, father and stuff like that. And they just want to put it. It's all right. We are not playing this for the historical accuracy. Although, you know, there is something to be said about historical accuracy in this game that is really good. Uh, the fighting actually looks... Um, except for the fact that you can heal in a few days f from very painful uh, problems. Uh, it is very well done. Buying supplies. Ooh, iron. As always, we need those. Wine is cost so much, we don't want to try it. Wheat for eight. Let's buy it. There's no way we can sell it for cheaper than that. Uh, salt, tar, and fur, non, not necessary. We still have enough money, so it's all good. We will go to the village center and try to find the um, guy we have to kill. Hey, there he is. That was pretty fast. Uh, looking for a murderer. Uh, you've got the wrong man. And drop your sword. And come not from the money, but to execute the law. Die, dog. No, you die. That's what's gonna happen. Sorry to break your bubble like that. There you go. Okay, so our relationship with this uh, village has deteriorated, but our relationship with the other guy, and the one that gave us this quest, is actually gonna get better, so, yeah. Uh, you give some, you lose some. Stray dogs, no supplies, we've already been there. Uh, let's leave. They are still indifferent, but at minus three, we'll have to be nice to them eventually. Uh, okay, so now we have to go and talk back to uh, the Yarl for uh, the completion of the mission. But first I'm gonna go to Hordeby. And there's no need to go to Hordeland, so I won't. We could get another quest there, but... Uh, speaking of quests, how goes our Renown? Uh, still 127. Uh, it's gonna change eventually. Where to buy? Buy supplies. Jesus Christ, they haven't remade their stock for a long while now. And tasks. No. Let us leave. I do want to go to the Odin's Cave, but I also think that we don't have the manpower necessary for that just yet. We'll have it eventually. Uh, we don't need to talk to anybody else. We've talked to everyone and nobody had interesting things for us. Um, you know, the one thing I dislike about this mod, uh, the, not this mod, but this uh, DLC, is that it really slows down the beginning of the game. Like, normally in the first warband, we would have a more sizable army than this at, at this point. We will attack these guys. There's only three highwaymen. Those are the uh, guys with the shields. The bandits and footpads, we can take care of. Could also ask them to join us, but that will lower our morale and renown and reputation with everybody and stuff like that. Um, it's just bad. The only good thing about it is it would bolster our numbers. Oh shit, look at Brunhild. Brunhild doesn't give a fuck. She has been running like her life depends on it. Uh, yeah, that's good. The upgraded units that have shield actually are slower than the non-upgraded units. So it's just a good thing. They are staying behind. Uh, we're gonna stay with our troops for now. We don't wanna go too far behind. 
the enemy lines, I think. Come on, Broom Healed! Get somebody! Yeah! Yeah! They lost a lot of people, so we... They are filled here. Oh, come on. Death and my shield, you bastard. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Run! Ah, I will catch up with him. I'm gonna try and catch up with him. I won't, but I'm gonna try. Stop running! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, it's not worth it. Is there anybody else? They dented, they dented my, my shield. It's a bit annoying. Oh, yeah. Let's try and cut them off on the other side of the mountain. I don't know just how uh, useful this will be, but at least it's something while we wait for them to run away in fear. The two lenses in the shield are certainly not helping for my overall uh, weight. Where is the enemy? Oh wow, he is so goddamn far. We're just gonna have to wait then. Let's look at these spears. I really like the fact that they do stay in the shield for a while. Um, it really adds to the uh, ambience. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, any fighter worth, worth its salt would have either changed shield or at least broken down the handles uh, of the spears. I think that's it. Yeah, there you go. So we have lost a sailor, That's a, it happens, but we have four new members of our prisoner team. And we will share the loot, as always, get the good stuff, and leave the rest. That is going to give morale to our people, and we have some new items that we want to give Brunhild because she deserves, she needs, she doesn't deserve it, she needs a shield. And a helmet, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Remember, remember that her dress is one of the, <laughs> one of the best uh, pieces of defense I've seen on somebody. Uh, especially at level 1. All right, well, things went very well. We could actually catch up with these two guys. You know what, let's do it. Let's catch up with them. We are slightly faster. As you can see, we're at 4.6 and they are 4.5. Or they have hidden in Agdir? I didn't know they could do that. All right. Uh, we give a little bit of experience because we only have so many levels of a uh, trainer but uh, eventually once a lot of our uh, heroes get more levels in there we oh shit uh, we have been lured into a trap that is quite annoying it doesn't matter we'll take care of it Since that other enemy is just straggling behind, we could take them both, I guess. Yeah! Level 8! Bitches! Yeah! Straight in the back! Fuck those robbers! And that also gave us a hundred Pilingas. Perfect. So either these were just robbers or they were people paid to end our lives. But let's be honest here, we're not uh, renowned enough for that to happen. Ooh, six, six people. Sure, bring me the people. Bring them to me. Uh, more bread, sure. We're going to exchange basically the bread Wheat and bread and yeah. The reason for that is because we want to keep uh, 
a high amount of food. It's not necessary because we have a tremendous amount, but it's always better to have more than have less. Uh, Alright, well, things are good. We had... Oh, careful. They are following us. There's 12 of them. Well, you know what? I'm gonna think about it, and I will come back in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below the video. Um, and if you could like it and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. But in any case, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.